I'd like to give you a short overview of how to balance a binary search tree or how to balance a search tree. I'm not going to show any of the methods in detail. I'm just giving a general overview. In general, methods for balancing search trees fall into one of the following categories. So by weight means that I want to make sure that the left and the right subtree always have more or less the same number of nodes, so the same size. And we want to have that for all nodes in my search tree. Similar, if I want to balance by height, that means that I want to have the height of the two subtrees more or less the same size. And again, that should hold for all nodes in my tree. I can also balance by degree. So this is not for binary search trees because otherwise it wouldn't work. But here I want to make sure that all the leaves have the same depth and I allow myself some leeway with the degree. So not having necessarily a degree of two, but for instance also a degree of three. Now let's have a look at an example for each of these. So an example of a weight balanced tree is a BB alpha tree. So what does that mean? I have a binary search tree and for any pair of nodes x, y, where y is a child of x, so like here, what I will want to have is that the number of leaves in the subtree of y. So I'm looking at the leaves here and I divide that by the number of leaves in the subtree at x. So that is the ones of y plus the ones here. And that should be between alpha and one minus alpha. And alpha is a parameter here and alpha should be smaller or equal one third. So I want to have that this subtree has between, let's say if alpha would be one third, between one third and two thirds of the leaves of this tree rooted at x. If a tree has this property, it's easy to bound its height in the following way. So if I have n leaves, then my height is bounded by the following recurrence, one plus height of the subtrees or max height of the subtrees, but that can be bounded by the maximum height that I can have if I have one minus alpha times n leaves. So this recurrence solves to order log n. So for instance, using a master theorem, because here I have a constant fraction of n, and this is simply a constant term. This solves to order log n, and that is what we want to have when we balance a search tree. To make this height as small as possible, it's good to pick an alpha close to one third, but then again, we will want to not pick one third itself, because in that case, simply by how this works so because I don't have give me enough flexibility in terms of balancing the operations. So the insertion and deletion will get too expensive. So close to one third, but not quite one third itself works well for BB alpha trees. An example of a height balance search tree is an AVL tree. So what is an AVL tree? An AVL tree is a tree where for any node, if I look at the left and the right subtree, their heights differ by at most one. So if h is the height of the left subtree, then for the right subtree I have h minus 1, h or h plus 1. And if I have this property, so if I have an AVL tree, then the height is bounded by order log n. How do we prove this? So we can prove this by induction. So what we want to have is given n, what is the maximum h that we could get? We can ask that the other way around. Given h, what is the minimum n that we could get? So that proves the same bound. And that's how we're going to approach this. So n of h will be, for given h, the minimum number of nodes in an AVL tree of that height. And we're going to prove by induction that n of h is larger or equal to 2 to the h half. And that then gives us the bound that we wanted to have because if we take logarithms on both sides, so then I get log n is an upper bound for h half, meaning that h is bounded by two times log n. So it's an order log n, exactly what we wanted to have. So we prove this claim by induction on h. And we start with a base case, h is zero. So if h is zero, we just have one node, one root. So what's the number of nodes? That is the minimum number of nodes is simply one. 
So 1 is actually 2 to the 0 divided by 2. So here the claim holds. We will need h is 1 as additional base case. So let's check the claim. So this is the smallest AVL tree that we could get of height 1. It has two nodes and 2 is indeed an upper bound for 2 to the h half, which in this case is 2 to the 1 half, so square root of 2 is small or equal to 2. So again, we are fine. Let's do the induction step. So I have a height h, it is at least 2, and now I want to prove that n of h is at least 2 to the h half. Let's have a look at such an AVL tree. So here we have an AVL tree of height h. What does it mean? It means that one of the two subtrees will have height h minus 1, because I need that to overall get height h, and the other one will have height h minus 1 or h minus 2, because it's an AVL tree. So they differ at most by 1, and it can't be h, because the overall height is h. Now, I want to know what is the minimum number of nodes in such a tree. So then I can assume that this is actually h minus 2, because that just makes the number of nodes smaller, and I want to have a lower bound. So what does it give me? n of h is at least 1, so that's the node up here, plus n of h minus 1, because one of the subtrees will have height h minus 1, plus n of h minus 2, because the other one will have height at least h minus 2. So that's my right subtree in this case. Now I can simplify here. I want to have a lower bound. For that I can drop terms, positive terms, so I can ignore the 1 here. Also, n of h minus 1 is at least n of h minus 2, so I can simply make this 2 times n of h minus 2 in terms of a lower bound. Now, I can use induction hypothesis, so I plug in the claim, but now not for h, but for h minus 2. So what do I get? I get 2 times 2 to the h minus 2 divided by 2. So here the 2 divided by 2, that is the same as saying minus 1, but they're not divided by 2. So I have 2 to the h divided by 2 minus 1 times 2, so that's plus 1. So that is simply 2 to the h divided by 2. That's exactly what I wanted to prove. So the claim holds. Now finally, let's have a look at an example of a degree balance tree. So a 2-3 tree is an example of a degree balance tree. So here we have a search tree where all leaves have the same depth and all internal nodes have degree 2 or 3. So how would this look like? So this here is an example. So I have nodes which simply have degree 2 and there I just have one key at that node. But I also have nodes with degree 3. And there I have two keys, and then I can search by, here for instance, if I'm smaller than 7, I go to the left. If I'm between 7 and 14, I go to the middle. And if I'm larger than 14, I go to the right. Again, if we can get a tree with these properties, it will have height log n. So these were three examples. I didn't show any details. So I will also have a video for red black trees. So red black trees are an example of height balance trees. And there I will show how the balancing is actually achieved.